Hi, let's get started. My name is Jared and I'm going to teach you how to make a VR game using Unreal Engine. The first thing we need to do is make sure we have Unreal Engine installed. Go to unrealengine.com. In the corner up here, you can click the download button. The download should automatically start. Go ahead and click save. Once that's finished, you can install Go ahead and get the launcher installed. If you have any problems, there's more information on the download page to help you out. Now, once you have the launcher installed, open the launcher. And it should bring you to the page. At the time of recording, 5.3 is out, but we're not going to use 5.3. So pay attention to this. Go to Library, click on Plus. Now, I already have my version installed, but if you don't, you need to select this drop-down menu, and you can select 5.2. Once you get that installed, go ahead and minimize that, and then we need to go somewhere else. Go to B R E. For whoops, B R E U E four dot com. This is a virtual reality plugin that we're going to use. It helps us get started really quickly in our virtual reality projects. Now come to the uh, repository code and come to Example Template Repository. Now, come here to where it says Master, and we want 5.2 locked. Now, why are we using 5.2? Well, because 5.3 is still in beta. And this one is the, uh, what you call it, most updated without bugs. So come here to code and go to download zip and go ahead and download that. Now, depending on your connection speed, this could take a while. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I download. We're done here. So once we're done downloading it, go ahead and open it and extract it. Now once it's open, we go ahead and open the folder. And we want to click here on the project file. Now it's going to complain. Oh no, the following blah 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 are missing. Would you like to be rebuild them now? Yes. Yes, you do. Now, it's going to look like it's not doing anything. But, uh, just wait for a bit. So now, this should be popped up and go ahead and click the dismiss button and it's going to complain that it needs to prepare the shaders and we're going to go ahead and stop the this video here and in the next video once all the shaders are done we'll start actually showing you stuff <laughs> 